My name's John Volseed and I'm in charge of Christmas Day, uh, the most important meal of the year. So the, um, the turkeys that we have are all uh, traditional slow-going strains opposed to your, uh, your white feathered fast-going strains in the supermarket. The birds themselves um, arrive here in the spring as day-olds and then from then on we have complete control over the whole process from day-olds right up to your front door. The birds are brooded in our granite barns for five weeks and then they're brought out here to the meadows and pastures to enjoy the summer. Here we have sown herbal lays which have um, cover crops in. The cover crops themselves are put in not just for welfare reasons but to give the birds a reason to travel from one end of the range space to the other but also it adds a great part to their diet because it's made up of from sunflowers to kale to trifecale to radish and it just gives that variant of wildlife. As we fast forward in later on to the year the birds are becoming more um, plump and uh, putting on layers of fat. Come Christmas, the birds are six months old, not 10 to 12 weeks, um, and that means they're fully mature, so they've got that full plump conformation, but also most importantly, they've got that intermuscular layer of fat, which is where you're gonna get um, your flavor and keep you, the meat um, tender and juicy in the cooking process. So they're all the birds are plucked by hand, old school method, just an army of pluckers, um, and then we're hang them for 10 to 14 days just to further intensify the flavor and tenderize the meat. This is not economical but really important for the eating quality of the bird. We're just about the birds having a great life, great welfare, getting out and about in the pastures, in the cover crops um, and just having a good life essentially because we're just a small-scale producer. They've got a purpose but we want them to have a great life like all farmers really.